Hi there, Keith Wilson here, and today I want to go back to the very basics, and there is a perfectly good reason for me doing so. You see, a few weeks ago I ran what was supposed to be a high-end training workshop here in the UK, in, in the city, and I say that somewhat tongue-in-cheek because what became very, very apparent, even in just the first few minutes of the um, workshop, was that it clearly was not going to be a high-end coaching day. Now, I explained to all of the attendees that I was going to do a look-up of customers within Southampton that had purchased ACT, and it was simply for demo purposes, so that I could then perform certain functions from within the database to promote something else just to those specific contacts. So obviously fairly basic functionality and, and, and what I assumed really was what everybody knew. So I needed to use one of three methods. One, the narrow lookup facility, the lookup by example option, or the advanced queries. Now, during the initial demonstration, for whatever reason, I decided to use the narrow lookup. And the first thing I did was create a lookup of all of my customers in the database. Um, and in most cases, you're probably aware that typically you'd use the ID status field to record this type of information. So that's exactly what I did. I created a lookup for all contacts in the database whose ID status contained the word customer. Now it was at this point that one of the um, attendees raised their hand with a question and almost word for word this is exactly what she said to me. I can remember it like it was yesterday. We do this on a regular basis, probably once a fortnight or so, and we produce a similar list. But quite often what we want to do is send our campaign to a, a select few, not to every single customer. So is there a way of narrowing down that list just to those customer that match a second criteria? Now I assumed that most basic of tasks, i.e. the ability to perform lookups on multiple fields, was something that everybody knew about. So my next step was to ask the obvious question. So I asked the other 200 people in the room, how many of you don't know how to create a lookup from within the lookup? Over half the hands went up in the room, and it was at that moment that you could have actually blown me down with a feather. And there's two mottos really to this story. One, you can never assume anything. And two, don't be frightened to ever admit to not understanding something. Because had that lady not been brave enough to raise her hand and ask that question in front of nearly 200 people that she didn't even know, if a half of those present would never ever have learnt that simple technique either. Okay, so moving on to the objective for this video. I want to show you a couple of ways to narrow down your own particular lookups. First by city, and then by contacts that have purchased ACT. Obviously that's just demo purposes, but take this scenario into your own business. So for this quick presentation, let me perform the first lookup, like I mentioned at the beginning, and that is to find all customers within my database. And for that, I need to switch over to my PC to show you it live. Okay, so the first um, step within this example is to create the lookup that I first spoke about, which was to find every single customer within the database. So from the ID status field, I'm going to choose to look up, and I'm going to say contains the word customer. So there you'll see, ACT has now found 67 records that match that criterion. Now before I go any further, let me also make you aware of another key thing in respect of lookups. By default, every time that you perform a lookup, it will replace your previous one. 
It's important that you understand this before I show you the next step. So right now I've got my entire list of customers on the screen, so the next step now is to narrow this list down to just those based in the city of Southampton. Now I could do this in several ways. First, I could simply sort the list by city, find all those in Southampton and either highlight them using the left mouse button in conjunction with the control button on the keyboard, Secondly, I could use a left mouse button with the shift button on the keyboard. Now what you need to do if you're going to use this particular method is highlight the first record just by using the left mouse button, no buttons on the keyboard, then click the last record within the range, but this time you must hold down the shift button and subsequently ACT will highlight all of those records in between. The third option is to use the tag mode. And select each of those records one by one. In essence, this does exactly the same as the first method I showed you using the control button, but it doesn't require you to hold the control button down as you select each particular record. Now, once you've got the relevant list of contacts selected, as I have on screen now, you could click on the Look Up Selected button. But for this example, I want to show you my preferred process, which is to use the Look Up menu, choose City, and then enter Southampton into the Search For box. So from the Look Up menu, choose City. Southampton's predefined because I've actually been working on this earlier today. Now. Before I click OK, there's one more very important parameter that I must change. Like I said earlier, the default when performing any lookup is to replace any previous ones you've performed. But in this instance, I only want to search within my current lookup of 67 contacts, which remember is my entire list of customers. So this time I choose the narrow lookup option. And the result is obviously a much smaller list. But the key thing here is that my criteria is now much more specific and focused. Okay, the final step is to narrow this down even further to just those customers in Southampton that have in fact purchased ACT. Again, to speed up the process, as I'm already in the contact list, it makes sense to use the lookup menu rather than go back to the detail view and use two or three keystrokes instead of just one. And another small tip here. Because the final field that I want to look up is not directly present on the lookup menu, most users would typically go down to the other fields option. But in this instance, that's actually slightly slower than just selecting one of these other options at the top of the list and changing it from within here. So I've selected the field that I now want to search in. The value that I want to search for is already predefined again because I've been working on this earlier. And you must again remember to narrow the lookup otherwise it will replace the lookup and all of your past work will have been lost. Well, there is the lookup previous option, but that's for another day. So once you're happy with that, we click OK. So now you have a list of contacts that are much more targeted and assuming you send them an irresistible offer, there's a very good chance they'll purchase from you. And just before I go, let me finish off by showing you one more extremely powerful feature that is totally related to what I've just demonstrated and is probably something you're not even aware of exists.